Okay, welcome, welcome. The colors we're gonna need for today are red, yellow, green, uh, white, black, and brown. You could use some orange too if you want, but it's not, not necessary at all. So the two different size brushes that you're going to need for today are our medium size flat brush and our small little detail brush. So I'll guide you which ones to use when. This is such a cute little painting, our bubbly giraffe making some bubbles with his bubble gum. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. I'll guide you step by step and we're gonna begin. We're gonna start with our teeny tiny brush and we're gonna make a tan color for the skin. So to make the tan color, you're gonna mix some white, some brown, and some yellow, just to kind of warm it up. Now, depending on the brown you're using, if you have more of like a burnt brown, there's a little bit more red in it, you might not need to add as much yellow. So it's really up to you. You really just wanna get a sand color. Okay, so it's kind of like a warm sandy color for our giraffe skin. And we're just gonna use this color to sketch him out. Here we go. So we have our circle right here in the center that we sketched out. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with the shape of its face. So if you start at the top of the circle and you go towards the right and you stop at about two o'clock, you can make a little dot right there at two o'clock. From there, you're gonna make a slight diagonal line going towards the corner of your canvas and it's gonna be about two to three inches or so, depending on the size of your canvas, is gonna be its cheek. So it's just right about at two o'clock. It's gonna be a diagonal line going towards the corner of the canvas. So we're gonna do the same thing now on the left side for its left cheek. So it's gonna be about 10 o'clock on the left side, and we're gonna to go towards the left corner. So about the same distance. If it's not exact, it's okay, it's a giraffe. They're never perfect, right? So about, should we have our cheekbones? Those two diagonals on the side. All right, so we're still with our small brush, same color. Now we're gonna work on the head, the top of the head. So we're gonna go to the top of our canvas we're gonna come the top middle, we're gonna come down about a quarter of the way and we're gonna make a little dot. That's gonna be that little top point of the giraffe's head. So from there, I'm gonna make a wide V and it's gonna curve through that point. That's the top point of our giraffe. So we have our two diagonal lines on the sides and then we have our kind of wide V going on for the top of the head. All right, so from there, we're gonna do, I don't even know what these things are called. What are these called? I don't even know. We're gonna put these guys in right here. So we just did this part right here of the head. We put in the cheeks. And now we're gonna put these guys. We're gonna start right here on the right side of our V, right where we ended. And we're gonna just do a slight diagonal. It's not gonna be as sharp as our cheekbone was. It's gonna be a little bit more straight. So it's gonna be one guy going up and it's gonna be about pretty much the same distance as your cheekbone was. Then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna make another one that is parallel to that. So I'm gonna leave about, well, my fingers are pretty big. So about one of my fingers in between. 
that's about an inch or so. And it's just parallel, just like that. The antlers, I don't know what they're called. I don't know. Then on the top, we're just going to just curve around, end it off with a little upside down U. Like so. So now we gotta do the same thing on the other side. So right here at the end of the left side, we're gonna make a slight diagonal. About the same height. And then same thing, we're gonna go parallel. I remember we're just sketching, so don't worry too much. We always go back, fix it up, or it just gives your giraffe some character. And then of course the top, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna close it up with our upside down U. All right, so moving on now to the ears. So the ears are actually gonna start right here at the end of your antlers where we started those. So they're actually gonna go out towards the right. They're not really gonna go up, but it's gonna be in the shape of a teardrop. So if you wanna look at it first, I'm gonna start here at the end and I'm gonna curve up just like I'm gonna make a teardrop and I'm gonna bring it up to a point and I'm gonna leave about an inch from the end of my canvas. So I curved up and then just went straight and left about an inch from the edge. Then from that end of the ear, that point, I'm gonna bring it back down to my face. So I'm gonna come down and then just a slight curve to bring it to the head. So it's not as drastic as that first one was. So you got one ear in there. We gotta do the other side. So same thing, we're gonna start right here where we ended our antlers. We're gonna go straight out to the left. So it's gonna be curved up. And then right up to a point. And then just bring it slightly down back to the head. So we got your antlers, we got our ears, we got the top of the head. And we got our cheekbones. All right, now we gotta stick in the neck. So, still with the small brush, still with the same color. And now at about seven o'clock, right? So the bottom six, gonna move over to about seven o'clock. I'm gonna start my line just going pretty straight down. If it's not exact, again, it's okay. Same thing, we're gonna start at about five o'clock and pull this guy right down. There's a nice thin neck. And a big bubble in the middle. If you wanna make the neck wider, of course you're welcome to do so. So once you ha are done putting in this general sketch of your giraffe, now we're gonna switch brushes and we're gonna start filling in this whole section with our color, right, this tan color. So I'm not gonna fill in the bubble, of course, but I'm gonna fill in the ears, the antlers, and the neck, everything that we just put in, I'm gonna start filling in with that same color. And I'm just gonna start filling her in with my bigger guy.
Fill our in. Okay, so we should have our giraffe pretty much sketched out and filled in, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make some pink with our little brush. So a little bit of red and a little bit of white. So whenever I'm mixing colors, I'm never going to use all of my colors. So now that we're making pink, I'm not going to use all my white and all my red because I want some for later. So I'm going to make a, just a little bit on my on the side of my palette. I'm going to make a little place for it. And with the pink, I'm going to go in and put in the pink of its ear. So it's going to help it have some dimension and give it some color. So we're going to start with the one on the right. And I'm going to come down from the top of its ear, right here where it meets its head. I'm going to come down just about a half an inch. And from there, I'm going to follow just going parallel to the shape of the ear. And I'm going to stop, just give it a little bit of space near the end. So I just did a curve right up here. I started right here at the edge. And I went parallel, left the same amount of space, and left that at the end. From there, I'm going to come back to where I started my pink curve. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit, just a little dash down. From there, I'm going to just start filling in this space, but it's not going to be a perfect line. Like I'm just kind of wisping it in to fill it in. So it's a little bit shorter at the front and a little longer at the end. So it gives it just a little bit of pink in the ear. And we're going to add more definition later. It's just the first layer. First layer of definition. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So we're going to come down right where the ear meets the head, and I'll give it a little bit of space. And then we're going to just curve around parallel to the shape of the ear. So same thing. Then we're going to come back to where we started. We're going to come down just a little bit and then just start wisping in, just flicking it in to fill in some of that space. So that's just the first layer of our pink. All right, so now with that same pink, we're gonna leave our giraffe for just a little bit and we're gonna go to the background. So in the background I have, it's pink and it just gradually gets lighter and lighter and lighter until it gets to white around our giraffe. So the way we do that is when I go to my big brush, I'm gonna stick my little guy in the water. Whenever we're not using a brush, we always leave it in the water. And I'm gonna start with my pink on the edge, just on the top corners. I'm gonna just put them in all my corners, just a little bit of pink. I'm only going in just a little bit because I'm gonna start blending it. So just a little bit of pink on all my corners, bottom as well. And the right bottom. So I only went in just a little bit all the way around. Then I'm going to take the same brush, I'm going to dip it in the white, and then I'm going to start to blend. So right along where it meets the pink, I'm going right next to it, and then I'm blending it into the pink. So I started right outside the pink and blended it in. So just see how that just softens it right up. I went out here on the side, blend, 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 blend. So it's very, very soft. OK, 
Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for the right and the bottoms. So starting a little bit outside my uh, diagonal right here, and I'm going to start bringing it in. In, 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 in. And it lightens it right up. Do it for all the corners. And in this corner. And of course, if you want it more dramatic, you could always add more pink and blend it in a lot more. So then all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just start filling in a lot of my background in white. You don't wanna do that, that's fine. If you wanna just leave it the way it is. I just think it gives it a nice clean layer. And it also just kind of helps clean up some areas too, if you have any areas that are a little, a little messy from your giraffe. If you went out a little bit further than you'd like, now is a good time to clean it up. I'm gonna clean up my ears. Go all the way around, cleaning up my edges. Or if you're adding more, you're blending some of your color in. So once you're done with that, I'm gonna go back to my little brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some red to my tan mixture that I used for my giraffe. So it's a little bit of red, so it's gonna be kind of like a, a mauve. That's what it is, it's like mauve. All right, so it's a little bit of red mixed with our tan. And with that color, we're gonna start with the shading of our giraffe. So the first layer of shading, I should say. So the first thing we're gonna do is just kind of outline just the top of the giraffe right here, a little hump. I'm just gonna add just a few strokes on the right and on the left. So it's kind of like a little outline. All right, then we're gonna go into our antlers and we're just gonna pull it through both sides. Just the left and the right side of each antler. 
I have a few strokes on either side. And then I'm gonna to come to our little upside down U. And right where we started our U, where we ended our lines, I'm gonna start putting in those little hairs on the top. So I'm just starting where that invisible line would be. And I'm just starting to flick up just a few. We're not gonna do a ton because we're gonna go back with another color later. But it's just putting in just a few hairs. Let me bring this closer so you guys can see. All right, and with that deeper color, we're now gonna go down back to our ears where we put in the pink originally, and just along this top part of the pink. I'm gonna go just along that top part that we put in, and this side right here. And then just right here near the head, I'm just gonna do just a few flicks in. So now you should have two tones going on. You should have that lighter pink and a darker pink. And I'll bring this closer so you can see. So two different tones. We're gonna do the same thing on the left. So we're just outlining from the head all the way around where our pink is, and then just a few flicks from the head. Flick, flick, flick. So now we're getting a little bit more dimension going on. So now the last place we're gonna put this color is gonna be right here above your bubble gum. So if you wanna take in this first middle corner, right? Like right here in between your head, your little forehead part right here, we're just gonna go along the sides and I'm just kind of hugging it. And I'm going back and forth and back and forth. And then right when I get to about where the ears are, I'm gonna stop. So it's gonna gradually get shorter and shorter, these lines. So it starts off bigger and then it gets smaller. So now I'm gonna go back to my forehead. I'm just gonna soften up the lines just a little bit, just here at the edges where they meet my my skin tone. So I'm gonna just add some more skin tone just to kind of soften it up, but I still wanna see that dark color. So I'm just kind of wisping it over just to soften just a little bit. Mine got a little too crazy. That's it. So we put our shading in the top of our head, our antlers, we started with some of the hair on the top. We added a whole nother dimension to our ears, and then we did a little bit of shading above our bubble gum. All right, so now we're gonna put in the eyes. These eyes are so pretty. All right, so they curve up and down, just like this, like a little upside down or a little frowny face, but it has a little flick to it. So I'm gonna show you how to do those. They're big, bold, and beautiful. So we're actually gonna put them in with our teeny tiny brush and our black. So whenever you're putting detail in with your black, especially with your black, you wanna be really light to the touch so you have a nice thin line. The, if you smush your paintbrush into the canvas, you're gonna get a fat, crazy line. So you want a nice thin line. So the first I am gonna do is on the right side. So if you see where your antenna or antler, whatever we're calling this thing, antenna, I don't know, antler, if you look start where your antler is, you're gonna come straight down. That's about where you're gonna start your eye. You're gonna do it a little bit lower than the bottom of your ear. So I'm gonna make a little dot there so I know where to start. Okay, so again, where your antler is, you're gonna come down a little bit lower than your ear, little dot. Okay, from there, we're gonna do our curves. So I'm gonna curve up and then down and then flick out. That's gonna be our first or the beginning of our eye and we'll go back and thicken it up. We're just sketching for right now. OK, 
Okay, from there, we're gonna go back to where we started our eye and we're gonna do a diagonal. It's gonna be a slight curve to the diagonal and it's gonna meet right about here. So you wanna leave about a little bit less than an inch for your nice big eye, right? So it's gonna be a slight curve diagonal. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go back to where I started my eye on the top, or I should say where the eyelash is. So right here where the eyelash starts, and I'm gonna do a little curve out, like a little dome. And it brings it right down to the eye. So we started over here, straight down from the antler, a little bit lower than the ear. We curved up and down, flicked out. Then we went back to where we started. We curved down at a slight diagonal, and then we connected them with a slight curve. It's the beginning of the eye. All right, then we're gonna put in the black of the eye. So I'm gonna give it some space from the right, from the outside of the eye, and I'm gonna go parallel with that curve. So I'm just gonna start in here, parallel with the curve, just like that. So you have some nice white for the eye. And then I'm gonna fill in all this section here to the left of that curve we just put in. You can make these eyes much bigger if you want to have the curve go further down, up to you. And I'm just going to thicken up the eyelash. I love me some eyelashes, so I'm going to make them a little thicker. So you have your eye, except for one last part. So right here, at where we started, I'm just gonna have it go down just a little bit. Just continuing that line down, just a smidge. And then you have your first eye. Okay, now we gotta do the same thing on the left side. So remember our alignment. We're gonna come down from the antler it's gonna be a little bit lower than our ear. And from there, we're gonna make our little dot so we know where to start. A little dot. Okay, and from there, we're gonna do our curve and then flick out. So notice I'm always leaning my pinky on the canvas. That helps give me some stability. Otherwise, I'd be all over the place. So up, down, flick out. Okay, then we're gonna go back to where we started. Remember we're gonna do our slight curve diagonal to a little bit lower or however big you wanna do it. You wanna make sure that it matches as best you can to this guy over here on the right. Okay, and then we're gonna connect them with our curve. And then we're gonna go back and do our parallel curve inside the eye. So we have some room for the white later. And then we're gonna fill her in. And don't worry if they're not exactly the same. No two eyes are exactly the same, even on humans.
And we're gonna do our little continuing the curve down, just a smidge. I'm gonna make this eye much bigger. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some white in there later. All right, so we have our eyes in our big, beautiful giraffe eyes. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to putting in our spots for our giraffe. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush and we're gonna go to our brown and this time, so my brown is pretty deep. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of orange to it uh, just to warm it up so it's not so strong. But again, it depends on the kind of brown you have. And there's all sorts of different spot colors or tones, I should say, of brown for giraffe. So, so putting in our spots are really quite simple in the sense that there's really no wrong, right? So if you have a spot that's a little bigger, a little smaller, it's still fine. So we're going to first start with the guy right here on the left, we'll do the left side first. So I'm just gonna go starting from the top of where my bubble gum meets the neck, and I'm gonna go along the left side, and I'm just gonna go down, I mean a little bit less than halfway. And then from there, I'm just gonna make a little bump, so starting from the beginning of that line, just a little like sideways mountain, and then bring it back down so it's not like a perfect curve. So that's going to be my first spot. We'll go back and fill them in in a second. Then the next one I'm going to do is from the bottom. So I'm just going to go about a quarter of the way up my neck. Going along the left side. And this one's going to be a little bit fatter. I'm going to make this guy round. But again, you don't have to cover it be exactly the same as me as far as the shape of your spots. You could add your own flair, make your giraffe unique. So just a little crazy spot on that side. Now I want to put one from the right going in a little bit to fill in this space. So right along the center section, I'm going to do a line along the right side of the neck, however long I want my spot to be. And this guy I'm going to bring in, curve around in, and we'll end like that down. And again, I'm just putting in the spots. We'll go back and fill it in. And then let's do one more underneath the neck right here on the right side. So this one's just gonna go down just a little bit, but it's gonna go a lot further in and around. So I'm gonna go kind of hug my bubble gum and then just bring it around and down. So I have my spots of my giraffe. So now we're gonna move on up into the face to add some more spots. So I'm just going to add some little guys underneath the eye. So I'm just going to start do a little diagonal line just right along my cheekbone. I'm just going to do a little beauty mark. Little guy coming in. Just like that, little beauty mark. And then little 
kind of dash little guy a little bit higher. I'll do the same thing on the left side, but I'll do a slightly different shape. This one will be a little longer. And then another one up here. So really however many you want to add. Okay, before we go back to fill them in, I'm just going to add a few more little guys up here near the top. So right above the eye, I'm going to give it about a finger space, and I'm just going to do like four little guys. So a little blotch, one, two, three, four. Because they're cute, it's like little freckles. And then on the right, I'll just do three just to change it up. So we'll do one, two, three, however you want to do it. So when you're done putting in the shapes of your spots, now we're going to go back and start filling them in. So whatever spot color you created, whatever tone, we're just going to go back. Fill it in. Our giraffe is coming along. Love it, love it. And even if you're mixing colors to make more of your spot color and it's not exactly the same, that's cool too. It's going to add some really cool flair to it. So don't worry about it. We don't judge a giraffe by its spots. All right, so we're still with our little brush. We're still with that same color. And now we're gonna go back and we're gonna add just a little bit more detail to the face. So we're first gonna start with the eyes and we're just gonna do a very light parallel line, just like a little dash, a little space underneath the eye. Just like that. We're gonna do it on both eyes. So on the bottoms. We're giving him bags a little bit. He's been quarantined. It's a long day. All right, now we're gonna do some accents for a little bit of the nose. So you're just gonna follow the line, the curve of your eye that we went down. And we're just gonna do a little dash, a little curve going towards the center from there. And then on the left, the one, two. And then we're going to do the opposite way going out, just above the eyes, right here in the center. So we're going to just do a little curve going towards the center on either side like that. So curve, curve. We're going to go back to the eyes and we're going to do a little curved parallel line above it. So kind of like how we did on the bottom. We're going to do one along the top.
and then each eye go left and right and then another little guy just above it just a little curve that one has no room for a curve got a couple dashes on the face All right, so now we're going to move up towards the top of our giraffe's head. So we're going to lightly outline the head, just very lightly. So it's not going to be a perfect line. That's what I mean by lightly. It's not going to be a solid line. And same thing with the antlers. Just a really light outline. It's kind of wispy wispy outlines and we're going to start pulling in some of the hair again so you're going to have all these different tones going on for the hair little wispies curve 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 Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing for the ears, but it's just gonna be just a little flick near the top. Just a little flick, it's not going all the way. Oh, that was a big flick, that's okay. Little flicks. And then same thing for the inner part of the ear, just a little bit more brown, just flick, flick, flick. So you got a lot of different tones going on, but it makes it so much cooler when you add a lot of tones. Okay, so really anywhere else you think you need to add just a little bit more brown you can or that tone, but you just want just an accent and we're going to go back and add some whiter, some white in there too later, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, so we added our spots and then we added a little bit more detail to our giraffe. This gal is looking good. All right, so now we're gonna put in our bubble gum. So I'm gonna make mine pink. If you happen to like a different flavor, go for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put pink in. So I'm gonna go back to my big brush, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna first start with a little bit of a deeper pink. We wanna do some shading here. So a little bit of a deeper pink, and this I'm gonna use for the outline of my circle. So this is why I always say to kind of sketch out or stencil out the circle. Circles are tough to do freehand, definitely possible, but if you don't have to, why do it, right? This is so much easier. It doesn't have to be a perfectly thin line because we're going to be blending, so I'm not concerned at all with how thick or thin my line is. And if you want to make your bubble gum even bigger, go for it. Now is the time to do it. Just kind of outlining my circle. So I got my darker pink in. Just using up what's on my brush. And then once you have your dark pink in going along the outside of your bubble gum, then you're gonna go with the lighter pink. And I'm not, I add a lot more white to my mixture. And I'm gonna start from the center. And with a circular motion, so like a spiral, I'm just going to gradually move my way out. 
It's going to just start blending really nicely. I'm going to blend back in. Spiral, 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 spiral. How cool is that? So again, I just took the light pink. I started in the center and I just spiral going out and then I just spiral coming back in and just blends it so nicely. All right, so you should have your bubble gum done. And now we're gonna go to our glasses. So the style glasses that I have in the example, it's like this, they're green, they're a little more studious, but you could do whatever style glasses you want. Up to you, but I'm gonna show you how to do this particular one. So I'm gonna take my small brush, I'm gonna first sketch it out with white. I'm just gonna dip it in the white. I'm gonna first put in where the nose goes. So right here is his little nose or her little nose. I'm gonna do a little diagonal lines going on either side of my dashes. That's where the nose is gonna go through my glasses. So it's like slight diagonal lines, just going where the nose is. So from there, I'm gonna connect the top. So I'm gonna do a slight curve to connect the top. And then I gotta put in my actual frames covering my eyes. So I'm gonna start with the one on the left. I'm gonna start here where my nose is. And these, this style goes up a little bit. It's not straight across. So I'm gonna start right here where it starts to curve. I'm gonna go up just a little bit and then just slightly curve it out to right about where the ear is. It's a little bit past the ear, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. So I'm curving up. I'm starting here going up and I'm going out, a slight curve. So it's not perfectly straight line, slight curve. I'm going out just past the ear. All right, so from there, I gotta put the base of the glasses in. So my bubble gum's kinda covering some of this sunglass or these glasses, right? So I'm going to pretend that they're curving here and then I'm just gonna pull them out just a little bit underneath my eye. So you can just pretend however big you want them to be. And then just bring them back up. I know you can't really see it as far as the outside goes, but that's about where it is. Got here. And then just bring them back up and it kind of overlaps my lashes a bit. So you should have the outline of your glasses. All right, so once you have this outline in, I'm just thickening these guys up, then you could go ahead and put in whatever color you want. So I'm gonna use green. I like a little bit of a lime green, so I'm gonna mix my green and my yellow. But you could do whatever color you want. You could do blue, you could do purple, black, whatever. Just have fun with it. So super easy part, you just gotta go over what you just sketched out. And now is when you're gonna thicken them up a little bit too, if you want the frames to be a little thicker.
So I just kind of have the base coat of my glasses in. I'm gonna add another tone in a little bit, but we're gonna go back to another part of our giraffe. We're not done, we gotta add some more. While our glasses are drying a little bit, now we're gonna go back to the straight white. So I'm gonna go to my little teeny brush still, I'm going in my white. And now remember this section here of the eye that we left open. So now is the time that I'm actually gonna put the white in that section. So I'm just gonna go right back. And I'm gonna put the white right on in. I'm gonna do it on both eyes. So we just filled in just the white of the eye. Okay, now each eye has a little little reflection, right, a little sparkle. So I'm just gonna do a little dot just inside the eye, just right next to the white. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. So just inside, next to the white, I just did a little dot on either side. All right, I'm gonna go back to my bubble gum and I'm gonna just add on the top Right side, I'm gonna go a little bit in, I'm gonna do a slight curve, and the same thing on the bottom right. So curve, and curve is gonna just give it a little dimension. I made this bubble gum bright tonight, I love it. All right, now we're gonna add some white to the heads. We're gonna start with the ears. So I'm just gonna start right here in the inner ear and just do a few flicks of white. So it was just flick, flick, flick. Just a few flicks of white on one side and the other side. All right, so we're gonna add a little white highlight on the ears as well. So just very lightly, I'm just pulling a few flicks on either side of the top of the ears. So just real light kind of dashes, just flick, flick, flick. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top of the head. There's gonna be a little highlight there. So just little curves. However much you want. Maybe I'm making her look too bald. Maybe easy on the highlighting. <laughs> Don't make them bald like mine. All right, now we're gonna go to the antlers. So same idea, we're just gonna pull it through the hair part. Just pull it through the top, so a few flecks of hair in white. And then just a little bit of white coming on the inner sides of the antlers. Okay, then we gotta work our way down to the neck. And on the left side, we're gonna add a lot more than on the right side. So the left side, we're just gonna pull a few white strokes in. So very light, just a few, like a little bit of a highlight on the left, and then just very little on the right. Oh, I had too much white on my brush. So if you had too much, no problem, no worries. Go back with your, your spot color and add some on, it softens it right up. So more on the left than on the right. We added some to the top. 
pull out the head. We added some to the hair and the ears and to the bubble gum. And of course, we started off with the eyes. So now I'm going to go back to my glasses and I'm going to add a darker tone, a darker green. So for me, it's just going to be a straight green because I went so light with my original green I put in that lime green. And I'm just going to lightly pull it through. Lightly pull it through. And just give it a different tone. Look at that pop. The same thing on the right. So I'm darkening up my glasses, adding a little flare. And then when you're done, you could go back again with some white and just add a little bit of a highlight to the rims. That makes it look like they're kind of a little reflection to them. Just a little bit. We got our glasses, our bubble gum, our bubbly giraffe. It's fun. Our bubbly giraffe is the coolest. And I would love to see your finished products. So please post Facebook, Instagram, tag us, hashtag splash art class. We would love to see it. Also, please visit our website and check out our calendar of live classes as well as on demand. We're always adding more. We'd love to paint with you again. It was so much fun as usual. And remember to clean your brushes.